and can cause severe reactions. This is how a toner can f you up big time if you're not careful. This is how a toner can slowly rescue your skin when it needs rescuing. All these companies make you think you gotta have a toner because it does something that's essential for great skin. Bullshit. This is the point of a toner. As you can see, some of the functions can be done by other things too. So I don't think getting a toner just for those particular functions is necessary personally. Other doctors may have different opinions and I suppose they always will. That's absolutely fine. But the acidity function is worth understanding more. Glycolic acid is commonly used for toner because it's easy to manufacture and when you reduce the concentration, it reduces penetration into the skin, so it can't go too deep. You see, on a molecular scale, glycolic acid is really small, so it can fit through tiny gaps between cells really easily, like a child in a net that just slips through. Sometimes it goes through too easily though, if the concentration is too high, which causes it to penetrate too deep. And we take advantage of this property actually in things like deep chemical peels of even 70% glycolic acid. Whereas something like mandelic acid, as an example, is huge in comparison, so it can't fit through anywhere. And even in high concentrations, it just doesn't penetrate that well. Now, remember though that toners can help create the correct acidity level, known as pH, on the skin. But to stop yourself being an idiot consumer that falls for everything companies say, realize this. The acidity is a result of cell activity because cells create products that they put into their environment. And this environment is what we're measuring the acidity of. Therefore, if cell function is optimal, then the acidity they're responsible for will inevitably be optimal too. In which case, what the f is the point of buying a toner to get the optimal acidity when the cells are doing it for you? It's the equivalent of crossing something out and then writing the exact same thing again. You may as well have just left it as it was in the first place, but the opposite is true too, and this is what catches people out. Imagine your cell function isn't good. I don't know, maybe you have acne or something. You could argue then that you need the toner because the cell function isn't good, so the acidity probably isn't good either. Now, you wouldn't be wrong in that, but imagine that you do improve the acidity with the toner. Will that automatically reverse the cell dysfunction and get rid of your acne? No. Not necessarily, because there are lots of things in the cell's environment that dictate cell activity, not just the pH. The toner can help, but it won't be solely responsible for turning your skin around. Why? Because the cells need to be fed properly with the basic vitamins to perform. Hence why you need a good skincare routine, like my basic universal one that all my patients have success with. You can maybe add a toner into this routine if needed, but it's only a bonus. If you're gonna buy it, then don't start applying tons of acid out in the sun though. It makes you very sun sensitive and can cause severe reactions. This is how a toner can f you up big time if you're not careful. Using good SPF with it and realizing that once your skin is fantastic and can get the acidity correct by itself now and doesn't need a toner anymore is key. If you use it alongside what I and many other clinicians recommend as a biologically appropriate skincare routine, then you'll get much better results. This is how a toner can slowly rescue your skin when it needs rescuing, when it's in a combination with essential ingredients that your skin needs to function properly. Do I recommend the ordinary glycolic acid toner? Personally, I don't recommend any toner as essential or absolutely essential, so no. I just think it's more important to spend money on the basics first, like the right vitamins, SPF, and a simple cleanser. And with that alone, you're gonna get such good results with your skin. So what extra is something like a toner gonna to add? Not a huge amount, really. Having said that, the price of the Ordinary's toner is so good, to be fair to the company, that if you really insist on a toner, even after realizing that it's not 100% essential, this one's a great choice.